So I think I think we're on. Are we on? <laughs> so if I'm right, then um, I'm I'm live for the first time on the webinar, and uh, we have a few people here. Hello, guys, wherever you are in the vegan nation universe, in the vegan nation world. Um, I I hope that. Uh, as Isaac would say, you are uh, feeling amazing, and um, please bear with me as this is the first time that I have ever uh, done a you know, like a join me or any webinar for that matter. And I just need to make sure everything is going fine. So let me just quickly check in. Okay, so we've got some people here. Just give me a minute, please. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's very late last minute, but I think we're there. So guys, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to host this webinar. I don't have any uh, specific skills, technical or platform skills to impart. But what I do have, uh, I think I make up for that with a huge passion for this Vegan Nation project. And I want to be sharing that with you and hope you can take some of that enthusiasm away with you guys at the end of today. So I'm just turning on a recording of this. And then I'm good to go. Excuse my... So, yeah, my, my enthusiasm for this project is really why and what we are doing um, and how to make it incredible, uh, sustainably in our lifestyles and how we can become the best ambassadors. So let's not forget what Vegan Nation is really about. Vegan Nation is about accomplishing our goal of creating a pure, vegan, compassionate, living world. For that, we need boundless energy. We need to be able to wake up with energy, move with the times, um, roll with the punches, and also find that energy of money and reward to flow into our efforts to make sure that we can continue sustainably. If it's not fun, if it's not engaging, let's not do it. But this is the most fun thing I've ever been involved with. So I believe Vegan Nation is the vehicle to manifesting a more beautiful world built upon a unified and cruelty-free economy. And I'm sure you agree with me that it's simply the most exciting converging idea you've ever heard that combines technology, timing, and the just cause of protecting the animals, the world, and all the sentient beings that, that we've ever seen. One that spans uh, economy, leading technology, content, global contribution, innovation, and marketplace. And guess what? We're part of it. We're actually at the forefront. We're, on the, we're in the trenches, and we are the pioneers for this as ambassadors. This thing keeps me excited and awake at night. We are Vegan Nation. We say we are Vegan Nation. It sounds pretty good. But from an ambassador's perspective, what exactly is our mission? This presentation is going to have a lot of questions in it, maybe not as much information and solutions as you'd like, but questions are important. Do we want to build the future of our dreams? Do we want to save the animals? Do we need to make more ethical, but to make money? Do we want to have more friends, social and connect and build our family and tribe? So all of these reasons are fine for becoming vegan nation ambassadors. Perhaps all of them apply, perhaps one of them. We're here to unite the vegans from around the world into one global community. Let's take a moment and just breathe in Rumi, the old sage, the Persian 
sage Rumi. This master, despite many language translations, many losses, uh, perhaps of his original intention, and almost a thousand years of time in between all the cultures, caught the essential essence of living, and is today more popular even than Shakespeare. And the secret he's sharing with us is that there is no right or wrong way of doing things. There, beyond concepts of right doing and wrong doing, there is a field. I'll meet you there. What he's telling us is that there is no right or wrong way. There's no day or night, right or wrong, black or white. It's actually the journey. It's the reconnection back into the field, the field from where we come and which connects us all again. And as vegans, we can really relate to this. Can we really trust the heart of this process that we're in deeply enough and draw confidence from it? This is a great starting point, I believe, as a vegan nation ambassador, which also with vegan nation as a starter, experiencing many understandable twisties and turns on the road, but also as pioneers, pioneers on the forefront of an incredible new reality, a new system representing what may need to be occasionally many moving parts, but we are being invited to remain childlike and in awe of a process and a journey that is unfolding as we go. This ecosystem being developed to bring together a decentralized nation that unites hundreds of millions of vegans, offering goods, services, supporting causes along the way, creating a global tribe. This is an epic journey. This we should be excited to be part of. Our role in activating this is key. Can you imagine the future events where we can meet together as ambassadors as this vegan nation expands and matures out there in the beyond the field? I can, and I can't wait to meet you too. So let's step back a moment. What is the problem that vegan nation solves, and what is going to sustain and motivate us going forward? You know, fortunately, Vegan Nation has a very stable leadership as a startup with a global vision that could experience many challenges. It's founded on the four partners and lifelong friendships of Isaac, Yossi, Matty, and Schnur. Four old friends who came together and said, let's solve some of the world's vegan problems. This creates a very strong foundational square, if you imagine that, that should comfort and reassure anyone from a credibility perspective or even in investing. We can draw on that and get to know the vegan nation structure and the un underlying structures more. Isaac, while traveling around, the CEO of vegan nation, while traveling around the world, he realized how hard it was to actually access pure vegan food just as a traveler, someone who loved traveling. So he dreamed up a kind of Airbnb for food sharing while in Switzerland. And this becomes one of the first three core pillars and principles underlining the vegan nation architecture. It's a great concept which anchors the platform. Imagine a decentralized food sharing platform once ready is going to be a milestone we've been waiting for and worth waiting for since food brings us together and is the reason we are vegan, whether our personal focus is health, ethics, or the environment. Food access is therefore the first pillar of veganation. Cruelty-free commerce, the second pillar is how we connect the economic buying, trading power, the economic force of 300 million vegans. With even 1% of these world's vegan community trading on our platform, we will be having the largest digital trading force in humanity's history. And that's just 1%. Of course, we'll go well beyond that. That's just 3 million vegans. Peter alone, who came on board, has eight or 10 million vegans. So we're kind of unstoppable. Now the community network is what brings together on the ground the information, the content, the recipes, the, uh, the ability to mobilize people around the important causes protecting the animals. So the vegan nation as ambassadors is solving multiple global, global problems through practical connecting technologies for a previously Main, mainly unmobilized and uncoordinated movement. I sort of mention all that because it is really exciting stuff. 
And what underpins this is the vegan coin. And we need to talk about that because we're designing and building a cryptocurrency, vegan coin, which is going to economically drive and cement this nation together. Together with the many general benefits that crypto presents from transparency, etc., cetera, um, we know that with the vegan cryptocurrency, the money issue is going to be resolved. Today, when a person purchases anything anywhere in the world, it's more likely the dollars, euros, shekels, pounds, etc., were uh, transacted for meat or leather goods at some point and won't, will be used again for these kind of transactions in the future. That can't happen with the vegan coin. That is part of the solution that is brought through the use of this amazing currency. Just think about this. The power of the vegan coin, the economic driving force of our nation, and the underlying money issue challenges on just so many levels. Did you know that tallow, animal parts called tallow, is actually built into the fabric of fiat money? currencies, currency notes, money notes, dollars, to create this kind of non-slip feeling. I didn't know that until a month ago. It really powered me up when I heard about that. Also, other products, debit cards, credit cards, mobile phones, carrier bags, cosmetics, soaps, household detergent bottles and car parts have this tenor. I think this is an amazing sales point for ambassadors to sign people up, to connect people to the need for having a cruelty-free currency. Because apart from all the other benefits, imagine that the, the, the crypto blockchain enabled benefits, transparency, authentication, instant payments. There's so many ways of touting and understanding the benefits, but having a digital currency, not having a note in your pocket that is actually a piece of animal being traded around for commerce is an antidote to the pain and suffering of the blood, pain and misery of hundreds of millions and billions of beings on the planet. I think we need to reflect on that and really get inspired by what Vegan Coin is doing. So the verification, the certainty that we require as vegans is made possible by blockchain, etc. But the actual move from uh, 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 like a hard, like a hardware note of transaction to a digital currency is exceptionally exciting. The uh, cruelty-free token that is vegan coin addresses these realities. So you, me, we're ambassadors for vegan nation. What does that actually mean? What are the benefits? What are okay? Let's go to some questions. So, what is your motivation as an ambassador? Why do you believe in vegan nation or even want to be a passport holder? Why would being a vegan nation ambassador keep you motivated on a daily basis? What does it mean to be part of vegan nation? Passion and purpose. This speaks to our core connection with the very idea of vegan nation. If it's not strong, if we don't feel it, if it doesn't drive us daily to wake up in the middle of the night excited, to think of building the community, linking the networks, signing up members, this can take time, needs mindfulness, it needs alignment, it needs focus. We need to be in the zone. So if our passion is not being aligned with our purpose, then we need to take a moment, take a breath, maybe step back, maybe it's not for us. It needs to be fun, but we need to feel the passion. And to do that is really good to get to know the product. We need to know and believe in this product. If anyone else is going to believe it from us, as good as the idea is, we need to transmit it from person to person, convey and convince people of uh, the, the uh, certainty of the idea. But Vegan Nation is an entire ecosystem. It's not just one thing. It's a really big idea. So we need to study it as a fully functioning ecosystem. Remember, this is about uniting hundreds of millions of vegans from around the world into one global community. 
and providing the members access, even specials, to people, products, and services, as a nation would do. So we need to know Vegan Nation inside out. Knowing this ecosystem in its totality and knowing all the different stages of getting there, putting the final big picture together, having that kind of telescope view, that's very useful, very inspiring. And we should read the green paper, guys. We need to understand the big picture, uh, understand the opportunities, the low-hanging fruit, and work together, collaborate, and iron out little gremlins along the way. Get to know the info on the website, all the other platforms, operation like Telegram, etc., and start connecting our tribe. It's about bringing vegans together for the first time. Vegan coin, as Yael says, my lovely now, is the glue of vegan nation that will hold it together. So let's get excited about holding some of that coin and working it into a real amount in our wallet that's going to make us feel comfortable about the future. At Vegan Nation, it's important to remember also, as ambassadors, that confidence is what's going to create great results. I've been lucky with my wife Dawn in South Africa, is my inspiration on the veganism path. Together as Vegan Nation ambassadors, we've, we've made maybe 100 signups. And how have we done that? I'm going to go through some of the tips and tricks and maybe they'll motivate you as well. Um, maybe you can give us some tips and tricks too. I hope so. But we did, we did succeed in making a lot of signups. And part of the way we did that was just to find the networks, build the networks, connect out, and really project full confidence into maybe a few hundred conversations and leads that we generated. But once we get into the zone about the idea, connect our passion and purpose, people can't resist that. They can't resist this idea of vegan nation in flow. In fact, doubt causes people to move, move away, like move back and have a, have a resistance to something, no matter how good it looks on paper. So we should always project the confidence in the vegan nation that should be inspiring us daily. If it's not inspiring us, we need to check in, go back, work it out because the essential core of vegan nation is just so brilliant. It should be inspiring us. The bottom line, I would say, is if we know why it's so important as a core concept, then it will be easy to talk to others about vegan nation. There should be no problems and no sign-ups. And who really should we be signing up? So, you know, how many million, billions of people are there? If I'm right, about 8 billion people on the planet. Might be a bit less. And I believe there's really only two kinds of people in the world. There's vegans and there's pre-vegans. So we know there are 300 million vegans. That would mean there's 7.5 billion pre-vegans. And everyone is a client, a member, a sign-up, a future friend, a vegan tribe, family member. Everyone. Top it all, 2019 is the year of the vegan. This is the year, the economist says, is going to be the year that veganism goes mainstream. This is the year that Twitter has just gone number one topic as a trending topic and uh, had over 20 million searches. So if not now, then when? And if not us as ambassadors, then who? The tipping point isn't far away. Look at Silas Rao, one of our wonderful board members who runs the incredible Climate Healers Project and speaks of Vegan World 2026. By the way, he is host, being hosted by Vegan Nation at the end of this month in Tel Aviv on the 27th and 28th of February. If you can make it and get over to Israel, um, there are, there are taking forward and accelerating the vision of a vegan world 2026, which if we don't get that right, we actually will have no more wild animals in the world. But as Simon shows us, we can get it right. There are ways of doing it. There are ways of moving really quickly. 
there are ways of replanting the forest, there are ways of incorporating the lifestyle that with enough people reaching a tipping point will change and reverse our prospects. Our children and grandchildren can have a planet to enjoy. I mean, this guy built the internet. I'm going to tell you later that we need to get to know our resources and our celebrities and our experts. And we need to do that. So one of the ways that I, one of the ways we do that is by accelerating together. And um, the faster that vegan nation can assist climate healing to become a reality, the better for survival of the planet itself. So it's an amazing partnership with Silish and climate healers. The stakes have never been higher before. The odds have never been better for a team of impassioned ambassadors like us to really step up with this as an emerging solution and to switch on the light for a better future for all. So from a sign up point of view, it's all good. There's a sense that businesses should be maybe two thirds to three quarters of the total community and nonprofits and NGOs and causes a third or a quarter as a ratio. And that's very good for causes. And these causes are also going to be receiving match funding and support from the core and the engine of Vegan Nation, which is incredible. So as Vegan Nation succeeds, so do all those causes. This really motivates me on, the, you know, on a daily basis. So saving our beloved animals on Earth just becomes that much easier. For example, I was able to sign up the White Lions Trust for South Africa. Uh, and immediately on um, signing up, there was a pledge by Vegan Nation that any donations made to them will be matched 10% or more. And as a strategy for getting support for the White Lions, with digital donations. What a beautiful offer for them. And they've come in very strongly to support Vegan Nation. It should be the same actually with every sign up, every animal group we talk to. It costs them nothing. There are amazing benefits. So it's, it's all kind of fair vegan game when you're out there hunting for sign ups. All vegan or vegan friendly products, service providers should be signed up immediately. So we've got to build a network. We have to build relationships. And the first key is we really need to be ourselves. We need to be true to who we are. We know we can be successful. It might be difficult sometimes. And especially balancing our love for animals and the misery they're in and the kind of economic uh, levers that are built into vegan nation. But people are animals too. And we need to sustain and survive and even be stable and ethically profitable. So that's all fine and it's all good when an engine like this is building support from the core out for the animals. The causes are linked. We need to tune and attune when we, when we meet people and we explain and work through these issues. You know, vegans love authenticity and they can sense into BS very, very often, very quickly like a BS star, radar kind of thing. So when connecting with people, it's like ideally imagining them to be part of our family, which they are. You know, if they're unwell on any level, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, you know, if we can consider them as, as Tibetan medicine would say, as our own child, then how does that adjust the dynamics of engagement, selling a product, in this case, joining um, a, a, a tribe and a community, a platform, maybe investing in it, and listening and connecting deeply, sensing into the needs and opportunities to engage, gifting our time and energy in this way, beginning compassionate conversations. Uh, it's something very beautiful. It shows people they're valuable. It takes us into a space of leadership, but service, service leadership. This, this space and this breadth, we're going to step into an idea of vegan nation ambassadors. We're in service leadership of the planet, the people, and the animals. 
So increase our opportunities to connect and to sign up. It will increase the value of the product of Vegan Nation as a whole. And also understand the value for the businesses that each personal business can bring to Vegan Nation because everyone has a gift. And if not now, in the future, they will be able to share that gift on Vegan Nation as they transition and adjust and as Vegan Nation expands. And also, we need to move quickly and follow through. You know, attention moves so quickly these days. People are bombarded with information. In the, this digital age, we, we maybe have, I think they said, 100 times more info uh, to sift through on a daily basis than the last generation, which is crazy. So interest comes in, but it might quickly disappear. We need to be there instantly. We need to be able to respond to inquiries or feedback, catch them on, be nimble and flexible. To follow up, it's really good to, uh, and, oh yeah, so for example, traditional marketing would say it might take six um, contacts before actually getting through and having a sale. But in my experience, if we can make the connection, like a real person connection, in Africa we talk about Ubuntu, Ubuntu. I am because you are. We are connected together. Ubuntu and Gumuntu, Gabantu, they say. I am because you are. If we can make that kind of Ubuntu connection with each person that we speak to, about vegan nation, we can sign them up on the first or second time. They'll want to be part of it because they sense the support and the value in it. And we can offer free sessions uh, to connect people to the information, maybe Facebook on, online, join, join me, this is join me, right? So join me, maybe vegan tea parties, host a healthy session or social media, or just sort of have people around and have a meetup. Um, by the way, we can also ask Vegan Nation to support that. You know, there's, there's resources for pastries and coffees and meetups. We just need to innovate and ask them for support and show that we're doing it. And then showing people we care for them as much as we care for animals and to gift our time without expectation, to hold that line of supporting all vegans, but let them know through our enthusiasm, they're going to miss out <laughs> if they don't jump on the bus right now. So we will be successful as ambassadors. And the essential thing is really listening deeply, be enthusiastic, and follow through. We can make the magic, but then we have to work it, and we have to go with the flow. So nothing really compensates for the tune and the tune. That's why I put that in white here. Tuning and the tuning is just listening to what people need, connecting all the elements of vegan nation so they can understand and see their place in contributing and being supported by it. So let's just run through a few slides. So how do we sign people up? I mean, a good idea is to really start our own communities, maybe uh, finding those leads. We need, to, we need to prepare for the leads. We need to schedule sessions, maybe um, spontaneously walk into a shop, set weekly goals and be organized. And we need to research. Stay informed of what's going on. I love plant news, plant-based news. It's like really good for updates. It inspires me. I, I'll always have time to quickly flick through those updates because I know we're on the cusp. So get really informed. When you speak to someone or are preparing to speak to someone, it's good to review their product, their service, their cause they're working for, and understand how a vegan nation especially be valuable for their specific organization. You know, again, knowing about all of the aspects, reading the green paper, understanding the team, and all of the benefits, you know, and if there's anything missing, ask questions from the team and follow through until you get the answer that makes you confident. You know, there are, there are uh, many ways of finding those leads and signing up. So uh, in Cape Town, I live here in South Africa. Uh, it is fairly dynamic as a growing community and with my wife Dawn and our friend Mariette, who's also a vegan nation ambassador who was an Indian has moved here. We will, as a team, just walk into a restaurant, um, sign them, sign them up and um, send it through. It might be 
um, that we've 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 put together the kind of lifestyle we want to create for ourselves or our friends to come. If you guys come and visit us in South Africa as ambassadors, we will have a circus waiting for you of places you can stay, like hotels and lodges, restaurants where you can go and eat, vegan restaurants or vegan friendly restaurants, and even spas and places where you can have some downtime and have massages, um, events, or, or uh, tours. We don't yet have uh, an airline or Richard Branson or Virgin or someone who's going to offer vegan coin enabled travel, but we have created a circuit, something we would love to do when we go travel. So just thinking like that, you know, there are health shops, there are products, there are, if you want just wines or cheeses or bookstores or gyms, you want to go online. Uh, look in the directories of who's doing what, uh, go to Happy Cow, uh, find lists through the social development agencies of NPOs. There really are no limits to um, creating those lists of leads of who you want to speak to. It's important to use technology in connecting out. So I really love to listen a lot, talk less, move quickly, use um, the fact that people are online to catch their attention um, and adjust the language and approach according to each person. But I do have some stock things. So I'll connect on WhatsApp if I can get the phone number, try and get um, an engagement and then send through like a vegan nation benefits for your business, a um, little spiel and a, a link to sign up as an ambassador link, you know, our unique link, um, and then follow up with a phone call and then reconnect and follow up again if they need time. Uh, I don't believe that the traditional way of you know, research, email, uh, maybe phone, re-email, I, I think it's a little bit slow. It can work, um, but I believe we're in the very online age. A lot of vegans are very online friendly. So let's use WhatsApp and find people maybe on LinkedIn, um, Instagram databases and short and informative, add value, and be very focused when you actually have the attention for a phone call. So we do need to be prepared. It's good practice to be disciplined, set our goals. Time management is not my uh, sort of strength. Um, but it's good to know why the person is vegan. There are many different reasons. You know, a health shop might sell animal products too. An owner might believe that our products, the shop won't be financially viable, so they're in a transition. So we need to accommodate and understand that. A restaurant might uh, be interested in vegan, but never have done it before. So, you know, we motivate them to create a vegan corner on their menu with items that are already there. So it's just a rearrangement and an opportunity for them to connect to the vegan community. They qualify for vegan coin for those items, those um, Corners on those menus can create business and opportunities for the restaurants to really transition. And um, we can we can talk about um, the animals. We can we can remember that often vegan you know vegans who are there for animals aren't interested in health, but will talk to you, will not consider talking to you about health benefits. And they'll think that's a waste of time. But vegans, for health reasons, think animal activists are quite out there and wacky and might cut you off if you rant on about, about animal protection. So it's really listening, tuning in, doing the research, making the connection, listening again, and just knowing what to say because you understand the big picture. We clearly want veganism to be out there for all the reasons, health, animals, and planets. So everyone's a potential member. We need to feel confident in the product. We need to feel confident in just phoning up anyone, WhatsApping anyone at any time. Everyone is a potential me member. And the way we do that is just to become childlike, spontaneous, and very well informed. We need to extend those networks through getting social, working with um, like like the drudgery of setting goals, daily tasks, outcomes. You know that's how we buttress our enthusiasm with these time-tested methods. Like time management is not my strength, 
wife Dawn keeps working on me on that, uh, quite rightly. Um, and it's not just about eating for the earth and moving from beef to broccoli, etc. It's about planning what we need out of our day. If we can set up that structure, find out what tools are available to us, what platform features are coming, and make suggestions back to the Vegan Nation team, we have so many kind of arrows in this quiver that we can, this sign up quiver, we can go out and build, build the nation. We can use Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Telegram, Medium for blogs and articles. We can emphasize the kind of um, resources we have around uh, you know, advisors and ambassadors um, amongst ourselves. We don't even know who we are, really, and the people are doing amazing things. There's opportunities for collaboration there. Danielle says in her social media pack, this is working in Vegan Nation is like part of being being part of the best work together family ever. And that really stuck with me. I, I love that. When I had the opportunity in Tel Aviv to go into the headquarter office, I felt that work together family. And uh, I'd like to see that recreated in Africa and throughout the world. So we need to stretch out, build those networks if we haven't already got them. If we've got them, start tapping them, get enthusiastic. And um, we need to, if someone is suspicious of vegan nations, very few, set up a chat with Isaac or one of the colleagues at headquarters and let them talk directly. You know, show that it's transparent and open and available. It's not just salespeople trying to connect you. You can talk to the guys running this show. Um, and it takes time. You know, I, for example, working with, um, I'll give you a couple of examples from my experience. Um, I was able to contact Sea Shepherd. Um, I looked for Sea Shepherd on LinkedIn. I couldn't get a hold of anyone on LinkedIn. Um, and I found through someone in South Africa who was running a restaurant, heard he was going out onto the, onto the seas to run a ship, and that interested me. So I followed up and I WhatsApped him. And I found out he was actually uh, running a ship in, off the coast of Tanzania for Sea Shepherd. And through that link, I was able to get a contact for um, Captain Alex, who is the CEO of Sea Shepherd Global now, and make contact with him um, through Skype and just set up a meeting. And literally, boom, he saw the vision and he was on. There was no hard work involved, no going through teams. It was getting through to the right guy at the right time, being open and listening for the opportunity. And Sea Shepherd has come on board as one of the main partners of Vegan Nation. Um, with, with PETA, this was a wonderful example of teamwork. Um, Marius Hathor uh, had a connection with PETA in India, where she was Vegan Nation ambassador. And she made contact with the board and um, through a collaboration and again through LinkedIn, I was able to add onto her work and her follow through to land PETA, I was able to add an important piece of making a link with someone in America through LinkedIn, finding who the decision makers are and just waiting because sometimes people will answer you on LinkedIn, but you just need to wait. With ProVeg, uh, one of the world's biggest animal advocacy organizations, um, we had met, my wife Dawn and I had met um, the people running us, Melanie and Sebastian Joy, when they came to our wellness center in Cape Town um, a year ago. And they were also starting an Africa chapter, ProVeg. So I knew this was like really something, how can we get ProVeg on board? And it's taken almost a year, persistent, contacting, convincing, going through legal, having questions, some interest but not really there. Eventually, they think it's a great platform, interest, but now we have to wait another six months. So they're kind of loaded but not locked. <laughs> but that's taken well over, I mean, that's taken since the start of the nation. It's taken at least six or eight months that I've been with them. So persistence is key. We need to innovate and get playful. We need to develop our strategy. Um, yesterday, I just called someone called, called, called Miko. I thought I'll uh, test the system, looked at the local, any new local vegans, 
And I called on this guy called Miko, who was running a pop-up vegan restaurant in Cape Town at the waterfront. And I congratulated him and invited him onto the system. And he said, oh, no, you shouldn't have seen that link. There was a pop-up. It stopped. We tried to do I've now moved city. Sorry, we're not doing anything like that. I could have put the phone down. That was the end of the call. But I, I just kept the conversation going. And by the end of the call, Miko was so interested that he wants to be an ambassador for Vegan Nation. He might not be running the restaurant that connected us at first, but he now realizes he has the skills and hospitality from a lifetime of hospitality to offer consulting vegan startup in hospitality um, service on Vegan Nation. So Nico is going to be a partner. If anyone has a business and wants to draw on his experience of how to set up a successful startup, He's going to be able to get paid in vegan coin, and he, he could well be a vegan nation ambassador joining us soon from the city of Durban in, in, in South Africa. And my, my point is, don't put down the call. Just keep talking. Throw it in the air. Be childlike. Listen in and find the value. You know, we've loaded vegan doctors. We've loaded vegan lawyers. We've loaded vegan consultants. Vegan teachers. Everyone has a skill that they can bring to the table uh, if they're interested and have the vegan heart. And the innovators get playful. We've tried different things. We've tried the vegan nation market. You can find your local traders, small traders, love the idea of being able to get into crypto. You know, create a vegan nation market in your area. Create meetups. Uh, there are lots of different ways of playing with it. So being nominated as an ambassador, although it's a fairly simple process in some ways, it's actually a really big deal. It's a big honor to be part of a decentralized nation for a more beautiful world. When we sign up, we get the contracts. Um, we, we become the first vegans to be able to earn vegan coins at a good rate. We can um, get sign-up links uh, for branding and marketing. I'll go through a bit of more of that on the next slide. Um, and we can kind of access the goodies and download directly in our area now. So we can talk to Ivria with receipts uh, for that or questions about uh, how much we can print out. And we're encouraged to work with ambassadors from other areas and really build the global ambassador network. But we're all in it together at the end of the day. Um, the list of businesses, together with the HubSpot uh, CRM platform, is going to give us the information. And, and uh, yeah, I, I think I'll talk about that in another slide. So just as an update, because I think there's also been a bit of um, a sense that we, 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 we need to reconnect on um, the tools what's available to really uh, go out, get excited, and get results when we're out there as ambassadors. So uh, thanks to Yael, Mata, and Yossi, there's been a lot of updates in the background in the last weeks. Uh, one of the main things is that for sign-ups, which is a key activity for us as amb ambassadors, um, we now have um, a, a sign-up uh, link with our name at the end. There I'm uh, uh, saying Ian. And um, that is now being picked up and is working and will be, will be recorded for our vegan coins. Uh, with an updated email going out now, there's also um, the list of ambassadors, who we are, how to contact each other. Uh, very importantly, Yossi has um, updated our access to the HubSpot, which is kind of what we're meant to be using, if possible, if we know how it works as a you know, whole a sales management system where we can load our leads as open leads and then work through until they become closed leads and sign up like sales. So if we don't know uh, how that works, uh, Yael and Roberta in March are going to be giving us a webinar on that. So that's quite exciting. Um, and... Um, yeah, as the contract tells us, you know, we, 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 we get compensation per business we load, so that is a big incentive for us, and we need to really keep organized to run our own list, maybe on Excel or HubSpot, but that primary sign-up link is going to record, um, and in time, it's going to integrate into the app, so it's all automated. So we won't have to worry, once we've loaded someone is being lost in the system, we're kind of going to see that happening, that our wallet reflects the um, coins and the rewards immediately that we've loaded someone as an actual deal. So that's very important. Um, there was 
some little um, entries in, 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 in the questions and answers, the FAQ, and that's, um, that's been updated. Uh, there's also all of that information in Yale's updated email. Um, to go through again, you know, a proper sales overview with, uh, from Melanie with handy tips on how to really go through more of the, um, the kind of mainstream sales approach as well. It's, it's useful to know that. And Danielle's social media explanations are very useful and tells us really how to access all of Vegan Nation's platforms, you know, to choose those that work for us and to get involved in like these daily habits and patterns of liking on Instagram and you know, working Facebook and finding what, 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 what's our comfort zone and being active a lot. So yeah, that's all great. Then the Vegan Nation app I'll talk about now is very exciting. It's just around the corner. And for communications, like who do we talk to? Because um, yeah, Vegan Nation is big. There may have been some staff turnovers as well. But um, our head of ambassadors is Roberta of Vegan Nation. Uh, Yale is uh, CCO of communications, very important role. Matan has just joined us um, as head of community manager. Um, Ivria is running the office and therefore expenses and receipts. Very important to know how to approach her for that as well. Uh, investors, if we want to invest ourselves or if we have people who want to invest, there are opportunities around investments and you can look at that with Norm. And um, technical support, um, Yossi is there to help us as well. You know, we have ironed out lots of little gremlins, broken links, um, some of the um, reward system things perhaps not working. But let's look at what the app, what's going to happen inside the app. So, um, as Omri was speaking about, um, you know, on his amazing webinar, you can you can check on that. That the platform app is literally around the corner. It's due um, uh, to the public in Q2. That's like just a couple of months of, uh, away. We all got a link on whether we wanted to be beta testers. And um, that means in the next week or so, definitely in February, we're going to be able to start testing the system, which I think is very exciting as an ambassador. It's kind of missing key because this app Okay, it's going to be in two, two, two stages. There's the beta and the post-beta. But the beta already is going to let us start seeing what a, a personal vegan coin wallet looks like. And um, we're going to be able to look at events, you know, which we can make available for public or private use. Craig's uh, comment was that we keep it open as a single event, not two events, and then we just invite people privately if we want to. It's a very good suggestion. I think that's being implemented. And, you know, marketplace, e-commerce e e e um, opportunities to get in, into all of that amazing product that the partners are loading. Um, we'll be able to get going with all of these things with only a sexy Vigo button that is going to be in the middle of the app. Um, and recipes and community, there's going to be opportunities to also kind of like do blogging, etc. So we'll talk about that under incentives. There was an opportunity that came through today. And then when we go to post beta, that is due in Q2, we're going to be adding like the big features, a decentralized food sharing platform. Um, this will come together. It's very important because um, that food sharing opportunity is both income generator and it's one of the core pillars of Vegan Nation. Um, the reward system will also come in there, you know, inside the app where our partners are motivated to sign up or investors are motivated to buy the coins because they're going to access a whole pile of goodies and specials on the rewards. So that's all going to come together in the app. We haven't forgotten about that. There's just been, you know, a gap when we were talking about different opportunities, like ways of doing rewards and, um, Again, it must all be centralized through the app. That seems the, the, the most logical way of doing it. So, yeah, and come up with your suggestions because those are the most important things that we can in, implement and integrate into the app. So that's a conversation amongst ambassadors and online marketing uh, updates. What are our suggestions for the app? Just think of this app as a kind of one-stop shop that brings it all together. So, also, what are our resource spirals? What can we draw on in the networks right next to us without even going up and building new networks? So we need to know that we've actually got an amazing advisors board for a start. 
we've got, and uh, we can get excited about people with incredible experience, knowledge, and skills, and compassion. I mean, uh, Savish Rao, as I mentioned, is there with the climate healers. Uh, Dr. Will Tattle is there. You know, he's he, he's like vegan uh, royalty. You know, from, uh, with a world peace diet. And just recently, the two of them were at Dr. Martin Luther King's. Um, annual celebration, giving the most incredible speeches about veganism, and just tune into those or DM me, and I'll send you the links in the clips. These are our board members, you know, they're the most remarkable people. Then, you know, I'm going on a lot about the energetic guys. There's also like the hardcore technical experts, the people like Alex Mashinsky, you know, the founder of Celsius. These are the guys who brought um, like VOIP, what we use on WhatsApp, um, taking taking calls. Um, on, onto the wireless networks um, to the world. You know, these are incredibly um, talented uh, innovators. Um, Michael Strauss, Dean of New York Business School, um, and, and, and Ernst and & Young, like one of the four big finance uh, companies in the world, Green, Greenberg Traurig, one of probably the biggest legal company in the world. These are advisors to the board. And um, I'm going to throw myself in there at the end. I don't quite know how I got onto the board, but I'm there. And uh, I see myself as an enthusiasm pioneer. I just think there's so many ways to become kind of hyper-enthusiastic about the nation. So I've kind of been drawn onto the board as well. But um, we've got celebrities. And we have amazing celebrities. And there are going to be many more. And it's good to know who they are. There's Jerome Flynn who is one of the top vegan celebrities in the world. Uh, we have Game of Thrones coming up um, in, a few, um, in a few weeks, and he, he, he is um, um, who, who is he? Oh, gosh, I've gone blank. He is, he is, one of, he is the swashbuckling um, uh, he's, he's one of the He's one of the kind of crazy guys on Game of Thrones, um, but he he is um, out there for the animals in a huge way. He's the patron of the White Lands. He's one of our celebrities, and so is Jenna Duan. And together they 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 reach millions of people. And there's going to be many more celebrities who are interested. So you know there are other networks that we can refer to and tap into. And then there's us as ambassadors. You know we we can collaborate, there are many opportunities, uh, we can work together, um, and also rewards can be involved with that. And the links are put at the bottom, these are just some of the, the, the um, media that we can share with people, um, that includes um, some, maybe a few months old uh, articles and some very new ones as well. And go to the webinars, uh, Isaac's webinar, Yale's webinar, uh, Omri's webinar, Rainer's webinar, Sinesh's webinar. You know, there's amazing information in there. And listen to each one of them, make notes, and just realize, you know, blockchain for good, platform, the, the big concept, how it ties into climate healing. There's just so many links. So, again, reading up, um, finding out what the opportunities are, maybe typing into an ICO calculator what Vegan Nation might be worth a few months from now, calculating, you know, really the nuts and bolts of the currency we're working with. Uh, that's also important. And, um, you know, just a month ago we had PETA. And we've got, uh, um, I mean, just last year we had PETA, uh, Sea Shepherd, and just a month ago we had ProVeg um, approving or recognizing that this is going to be the official coin of the global vegan community. That's apart from hundreds of uh, signed agreements of businesses all, all over the world to accept the coin. So there's a lot going on. Uh, I think I'm going on a bit much. Let's just quickly talk about incentives. We'll get to questions now. Incentives are basically um, what, what can drive us as ambassadors as well. We'll be able to create a designated profile, our own unique profile, on the app, uh, earn points in vegan coin through signing people up, volunteering, contributing content, networking, creating meetups, pretty much all of our activity that we want to invest in the system. Um, NPOs will be match funded along the way. That's just super exciting. So the animals are going to benefit as we benefit and the system grows. Um, World-renowned bloggers will be coming in to give a large scope of um, kind of acceleration of, of the content and the reviews that come out as well. So in practice, what does that mean? It means that 
there are bonuses on multiple levels for our involvement um, as rewards for responding to the vision that is clearly there and should be driving us. As sign up, per sign up as ambassadors, I think, is it 250 vegan coins per sign up? It's, it's like quite a lot. Um, for contributing content, articles or blogs, um, Matan, the community manager of Vegan Nation, has just shared today on marketing updates his voice of the community initiative, and that's to uh, offer about 100 vegan coin per post of what? Just of your favorite vegan business. You don't even need to go and sign up. Just write something about them. It's going to go up on Medium. You're going to get uh, compensated for that. How amazing, how cool is that? So the idea is to promote and recruit new businesses in the community, get user-generated local content that is personal. And great idea, Matter. So let's do that. Let's get reviewing our local businesses. And then also on social media activity, just for liking Facebook posts, or social media channels of Vegan Nation. There's going to be 10 vegan coin per activity. So you can earn hundreds of coins. Uh, wow, I, I haven't even been doing that, but that's amazing. Yes, please, sign me up for that. So the Vegan Nation ecosystem is big. It is food sharing, content, e-commerce, and innovation. It is a system that is transparent, verifiable, blockchain-enabled, that can track and prove what is pure vegan. It has incentives built in that can reward us for our time and our effort in creating content, distributing content, building our networks, and basically getting it out there and building, building the vegan nation. So it's super cool. Um, imagine once the app is out, we'll be able to travel anywhere in the world, open the app, find the homes that will open their kitchens with the food sharing platform and be able to go in and eat or get a takeout literally in, in the decentralized kitchen of any vegan's home throughout the world. And there's an answer to Isaac's dream in Switzerland of where can I go and eat the views lovely but I'm starving. Vegan Nation just comes up trumps. So, yeah, I think there's, let's go to questions. Let's see, we're running out of time a little bit. Um, and I think we just need to get, a, get going with it, unite the community, make it sustainable for ourselves, uh, re be reminded of how this is all about accessibility and approachability and also supporting the causes and the animals. And by doing that together, we can return our vision for a beautiful, regenerative world by building and reconnecting and returning to what in Africa we call it Ubuntu. We are one. So let's be one as vegan nation. Thank you for being a part of it. Look forward to meeting you in the field. Maybe we can take a few questions and see you're already on 53 minutes. That's my first webinar ever. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let's try and switch on to I uh, hope we've got Roberta and some uh, our Bert is our um, manager for the ambassadors and can also help take a few questions. And let's see how we can finish the recording. Excuse me while I do this. Um, not, not, no, unmute. I'm unmuting. Here we go, guys. So guys, yes, please hit me with any questions or I think we're just opening a chat and hopefully uh, we can hear each other. So I've now unmuted you and uh, who, who all is here? I see we've got three, four, five, six people. Hi. Any questions? So... Ah, I've only just seen the messages. Um, so, okay. So I'm 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 wondering if there's any questions. I'm just going to type it in, in case you can't hear me. Um,
So I'm just asking if there are any questions. I'm just getting to grips with the controls here. I'm not sure if you can hear me while you're unmuted, but I'm going to unmute. And if anyone would like to speak and share a question, please do. Hi, I am Roberta. I am the responsible of the ambassadors. So if someone has some questions, I'm here. I'm free to answer you guys. Wonderful. Thanks, Roberta. Roberta, can you hear me as well or not? Yes, yes. I was here all the time listening to you. Wonderful. Welcome to uh, my first webinar. <laughs> I hope it was <laughs> I was here all the time. <laughs> ah, wonderful. Okay, I'm going to be quiet. Can somebody ask a question for Roberta or, or myself? So I see we have a question. Um, hi, it's from Sagar Matan Bangalore. Hi, we are working on a similar platform and blog. How could we collaborate? Or is there any plan to make a localized vegan nation? Wow, nice question. Okay, so Roberta, would you like to answer that to Saga? Yeah, yeah. Um, hi, Saga. Nice to meet you. Well, uh, to have some kind of collaboration, uh, I would like you to send any kind of email to EIL. She is the responsible of um, marketing and communication, so she can, she can help you. Yeah, thank you, Yael. <laughs> she already sent to you. And if you are looking for some ambassador in your country, you can send me an email. It's Roberta. Uh, it's the same, but roberta.veganation.io. Uh, and I can connect you with our ambassador of your country. Wonderful. Yes, Sagar, does that answer your question for now? Ah, I'm in touch with the local ambassador. So I'm guessing that's Deepak. Yes, Deepak. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, Deepak's an amazing ambassador. Okay, so Roberta, then you could check in with Deepak on the con on the um, communications with Sagar and Deepak. Okay, perfect. Uh, any more questions from anyone or comments or frustrations you'd like to share while well, we have a few more minutes? So, I'm not hearing any uh, responses right now, so I'm guessing we're all good for now. We're satisfied with the information. Uh, anything you would like to say more, Roberta, before we close the session? Okay, then I'm going to, I think one more, one more minute, just in case anyone is wanting to speak. And I'm just preparing to stop the recording if nobody comes up with another question. Okay. So um, that's time up for this, I think it's the 
sixth webinar uh, of Vegan Nation, and there will be another one coming up on HubSpot and how to process the, the leads and the sales. Uh, that's an important one, and maybe one or two in between. And uh, wherever you are around the world, uh, day or night, ambassadors yet or in future, thank you so much for your time. And see you soon. Talk with you soon. Be blessed.